<clears throat> okay, um, the next topic we're dealing with as far as um, converting numbers uh, uses uh, our ability to change numbers to a power of 10 that is a multiple of 3. The reason for that, which you will see on your next video, is to put numbers into what we call engineering notation. Because engineering notation uses prefixes like mega. Mega means a million, 10 to the sixth. Okay, so, you know, and I'm going to go over this next, next time. Um, you know, there's lots of them. There's lots and lots and lots of them. Kilo, like kilometer, kilowatts, things like that. That's 10 to the third. And like I said, there's a whole list of them. And I'll go over to your next example. But what we need to be able to do is to take a number, a measurement, and convert it. So we can say instead of I have a, a million bytes, I have one megabyte. Instead of me having... Uh, 5,000 meters, I have 5 kilometers, okay? The kilo stands for the thousand. The mega stands for the million. So, we want to be able to, like, change a number like 15,900 to a number times 10 to the third and times 10 to the sixth. Okay, kind of ran out of room there, didn't I? All right. So, engineering notation or this requirement is different than scientific notation. The number does not have to be between 1 and 10 because we're more concerned with the power of 10 we're dealing with. So, when I look at 15,900, in theory, in theory, it's times 10 to the 0, because 10 to the 0 is 1. So when I make my exponent larger than what I'm starting with, I have to move the decimal point in my number to the left for however much I am increasing the exponent by. So in other words, if I'm going to times 10 to the third, then I have to move the decimal point in this number one, two, three places to the left. So this would be 15.9 times 10 to the third. So again, you take whatever power of 10 you start with. If it's a whole number, then we assume the power of 10 is zero. Since I'm going to a number times 10 to the third, I am adding 3 to the exponent, so I move the decimal left 3 in this number. Now, if I want to go on and go to times 10 to the 6, well, I can do it either from the original number or from this number. Now, I am, again, adding 3 to the exponent, which means I move the decimal in this number 1, 2, 3 to the left. Since I only have two places, I must add a zero. Okay. So that's one of your uh, procedures you're going to have to uh, learn how to do because in this class, you know, we, we do a lot with measurements. Um, so you're going to have to understand what, what it means when you see a measurement with kilo and mega and stuff like that. But again, I'll, I'll go over that next video. All right. How about if I want to change 0 .000593 to a number times 10 to the negative third and times 10 to the negative sixth. So we are assuming 
that this number here is times 10 to the 0 power. To me, I, I think that's the easiest way to just write it out. I mean, I see this missed all the time. Just write it out. Underneath it, say I'm going well to times 10 to the negative third. So since we are subtracting from 0 to get negative 3, now we move the decimal to the right in the number we start with. So I would go 1, 2, 3. So it would be 0 0.593 times 10 to the negative third. If I want to go to times 10 to the negative sixth, well, I'm subtracting three more. So I have to move the decimal to the right. So it's kind of counterintuitive. It's the like the opposite of what you think. When you subtract from the exponent, you move the decimal right. If you add to the exponent, you move the decimal left. Uh, why does that work? Well, you know, this is, even though it looks bigger, it is a smaller measurement than 10 to the negative third, so there has to be more of them, okay? Just like up here, you know, we start with 15,900. Well, since I'm increasing my base number here, my 10 to the third, then I have to make this smaller because that is a larger measurement. So it can be confusing, I know, but don't worry about it. Just do it the way I'm telling you. So from here, subtracting 3, move the decimal right 3. So that's 593 times 10 to the negative 6. So just practice that, you know, till you, till you get good at it because it is something you have to be able to do um, as we move throughout this class. So again, the next video uh, in the series, I actually talk about your prefixes. Um, if you're in the, you know, uh, program where you're taking circuits classes, you're, you're taking anything with electricity, electronics, you're probably familiar with some of these. You may have even done them before. If you've never seen this before, then it, it can look a little uh, weird to you, a little overwhelming, but uh, that's just something that, that you have to do to be successful in this class. So I'll leave you now and um, we'll go on to the next video.